Few people are aware today that the history of the United States since the Revolution in 1776 has been, in large part, the story of an epic struggle to get free and stay free of control by the European international banks. This struggle was finally lost in 1913 when President Woodrow Wilson signed into effect the Federal Reserve Act, putting the international banking cartel in charge of creating America's money. The power of this system is deeply ingrained, so is the educational and media silence on the subject. Years ago, a Canadian Deputy Prime Minister surveyed scores of non-economists, both highly educated professionals and common sense people on the street, and found that not one of them had an accurate understanding of how money is created. In fact, it's probably safe to say that most people, including the frontline employees of banks, have never given the matter a moment's thought. Have you? The modern money as debt system was born a little over 300 years ago, when the first Bank of England was set up with a royal charter for fractional lending of gold receipts at a modest ratio of 2 to 1. That modest ratio was just the proverbial foot in the door. The system is now worldwide, creates virtually unlimited amounts of money out of thin air, and has almost everyone on the planet chained to a perpetually growing debt that can never be paid off. Could it have all happened by accident? Or is it a conspiracy? Obviously, something very big is at stake here. 